Hi, I'm Patricia Simeone. I am moderator of the Italian Club and also have been teaching Italian at Fordham Prep for 21 years, teaching for 25 years altogether. Ms. Simeone, where are your ancestors from in Italy? Uh, my parents are both from the region of Lazio. My mom is from a town uh, called Rocca Seca, which is also the birthplace of St. Thomas Aquinas. That's their big claim to fame. And my dad is from a small town called Santo Padre. Uh, they are both in the province of Frosinone in the Lazio region. And how did your ancestors come to America? Uh, they both came uh, by boat, actually, after World War II. My dad left uh, in 1948. He was 17 years old. And my mother left in 1952. She was 12 years old. But my mom actually went to Montreal, Canada first, and then six years later moved to New York. And what does being Italian mean to you? Uh, it, it's, I'm Italian-American, you know, born in a bilingual household and raised in a bilingual household. So it, it's such a part of my identity. And uh, when I went on to study Italian and really embraced my Italian culture, it was a, a, a huge source of pride for my parents that uh, I embraced the culture that they, you know, left behind, so to speak. Hi, my name is Antonio Quirinolani. Uh, I'm a senior at Fordham Prep and the Vice President of the Italian Club. Anthony, where are your ancestors from in Italy? My ancestors are from Naples and Sicily. How did they come to America? Uh, they came, my grandfather came on a boat uh, to Ellis Island. Once he got off to Ellis Island, he went to Chinatown and um, uh, worked in a construction company with a, a Chinese uh, uh, contractor. Uh, and for the time that he was here in America, for almost a year before he returned to Italy, he had pizza every single day. Because that's the only thing he knew how to say in Italian, pizza. What does being Italian mean to you, Andy? Uh, I'm very proud of being Italian. It is a big part of who I am and uh, who my family is. And it's, uh, uh, it's a good feeling to be Italian. I'm Giuseppe Masiello. I'm a junior here at Fordham Prep, and I'm part of the Italian club. Giuseppe, where are your ancestors from in Italy? My ancestors are from Calabria. It's the southern part of Italy. Uh, how did they come to America? My great-grandfather came to America when he was 23 by boat. He uh, worked two jobs during the day, and then he went to a night class to learn how to speak English. And he worked for about four years before he sent back for his family and then to come over to live with him in America. What does being Italian mean to you? Being Italian, very important to me. Uh, I love all my family, you know. I get to see them, you know, on Sundays when we have family dinners and during holidays, everyone comes over and it's just a big event. Um, I'm sure, you know, other ethnicities do that, but being Italian is just a great way to, you know, experience life. Hello, I'm Miss uh, Therese Faustini. I am a uh, Italian teacher here at Fordham Prep and I'm also Italian club moderator. Ms. Rostini, where are your ancestors from in Italy? My ancestors are from the Lazio region, specifically the province is Frosinone, and the town is Ripi. And how did they come to America? Um, well, they all came various ways. Um, my grandfather on my mother's side came um, stowaway on, uh, on a boat as a musician and got off and, and, um, and became, eventually worked hard and became a citizen. My, um, my dad came legally. His dad called him over um, after having uh, served in, in World War I. He ha received a work furlough and then his mom died in World War II and then his dad called him over here to the United States. And what does being Italian mean to you? Being Italian means to me many things. One, um, it, it's a, a life and, and a family full of culture. Um, it means family. It means, of course, food. If you're Italian, you know it means food. And it means a lot of love and heritage. Uh, I'm John Petrosi, and I am a junior here at Fordham Prep. John, where are your ancestors from in Italy? Uh, my ancestors are from Naples, Italy. How did they come to America? Uh, to take one example, my great-grandfather, Gaetano, got on a boat in Napoli and he came here, he got off at Ellis Island, and then he lived in New York, he lived in New Jersey, and he worked for New Jersey Gas and Electric. What does being Italian mean to you? Uh, being Italian is like being part of a people, 
that has struggled, but at the same time accomplished so much. And that's, uh, it's, you know, being more than yourself. It's an important thing. Hi, my name is John Fergali. I'm a junior at Fordham Prep, and I am a junior representative, a part of the Italian club. John, where are your ancestors from in Italy? Uh, my ancestors are from Naples and Sicily. How did they come to America? My, uh, on, my grand, on my dad's side, my grandmother, she was 14 when she came. She came with her older sister, who was around 18 years old, and they came by themselves to Italy, or to America. And uh, my, uh, my grandfather, uh, on my dad's side, he was around 18 when he came here, and uh, yeah, that's how he came. What does being Italian mean to you, John? Being Italian, it's uh, all about the family to me. Um, all my cousins, uh, I'm close to all my cousins, second, third, fourth, everyone. I all treat them as my first cousins. I'm always with them. Same thing with my aunts and uncles. Um, yeah, I just love the closeness of being Italian.